Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trail RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in. So this morning we got a new Cimarron Lone Star stock combo. Now this is a custom order. It is sold, but this just gives this will give you a really good idea on what we can do. So we've had a 20-footer on order. There's still plenty of time to make some changes. Customer kind of put his own little spin on it, and the trailer turned out really, really well. But this will give you a good idea on some of the stuff we can do and some of the stuff we can change compared to standard versus these customs. Uh, if you are looking to upgrade, we do take, take trade-ins. If you have a trailer sitting around you want to turn it into some cash, we do buy trailers as well. So give us a call and let us know and we can help you out there. But before we get into this, let's take a look at the drawing on this trailer so we can kind of go over some specs on the trailer itself and what you're looking at. So again, it is a 2022 Cimarron Lone Star 20-foot combo. So we're 20-foot on the floor. We have a 5-foot front dressing room. So then when we go to the stall area, you're going to be a 19-foot stall area. It's the standard width, which is 6'10 wide, and the standard height, which is 7'1 tall. So when we look at the rest of the trailer here, Let's kind of go over a couple things. First and foremost, all aluminum construction. You have an eight year structure warranty. You have a three year warranty, nose to tail on this trailer. And then you have a one year, no questions asked warranty on tires. So whether it's road debris, uh, a blowout, even if you catch a nail and it can't be repaired, they'll send you a new tire. And then you have two years, two years of roadside assistance. So they really stand behind the trailer itself. One of the very first things is, is they, they weren't big on the, the polished stainless sheet on the front, so they just opted for the standard white. The sheeting color on all the Cimarrons start off with white, that's standard. And then from there we can change different sheeting colors. But they opted for the white up on the nose. Underneath the gooseneck there you've just got a manual hand crank jack, spare tires located over the left. Also notice that the spare is and aluminum wheels. Some manufacturers will put aluminum wheels on the ground and then throw a steel wheel as the spare. Now, one thing that's not really nice is underneath here, you have your handle for your manual crank jack. But this also doubles as a lug wrench, so you've always got that on hand as well. Now, we've got this hooked up for the lights, but underneath here, this is something they started doing just a couple years ago, and it's really small, but We've actually had quite a few customers add it to their current trailers and not even Cimarron's. But this holds our seven pin plug. So we've got a hook up here, we can drape the cord over and then it plugs in there. So that thing's not just hanging out and dangling. It's a little feature that they've added, but boy, it sure is nice. And, and again, we've had quite a few customers just see this on maybe some new Cimarron's they picked up and they've said, hey, I got another trailer at home. Can I get one of those for that? very very simple to do one thing also is i want you to notice this coupler it's a b and w made coupler so i'm you're i'm sure you're very familiar with b and w turnover balls uh, they actually went up there to kind of visit with them and kind of look at some robotic welders that they had uh, and while they were talking we were they were having an issue with one of the other manufacturers just on getting these couplers that we needed so they got talking to b and w b and w uh, designed it and here we are today I think we're a couple years into this coupler uh, but again it's been designed between B&W and Cimarron uh, so another nice US made product on this trailer itself <clears throat> now one thing that they opted for and, and one thing that we see on all these newer trucks and I'll get this tack door out of the way for a second is gooseneck drop walls and why that's important is is because these trucks continue to get taller and taller bed height Every manufacturer's gotten taller, even the GMs. They went up about two inches with their new body style. So one thing we were having issues is, is newer trailers with these taller truck beds on getting you plenty of bed clearance, but yet making this trailer run level. So industry standards have been 50 inches of a gooseneck drop wall. That changed in about, you know, early 2000s, maybe around 2004, 2005. They went from 47 inches to 50 inches. So if you notice a lot of newer trucks with older trailers, they're gonna be nosed up or they're gonna be running level with minimal bed clearance. So you're gonna tear up a bed. So one thing that we've gone in and done, and we really stress this when we're building uh, trailers for customers, is this 53 inch gooseneck drop. So we actually shift this up three inches to get us plenty of bed clearance, making sure this trailer's running level. Now we already had that on the spec sheet because on a lot of our 
smaller using trailers, we already go ahead and do that. Just because we've really noticed that trend in the market with all these newer trucks getting taller, so we go ahead and do that. But I wanted to make you aware of that because that is something to consider. Because, you know, as long as you take care of this trailer, I mean, this trailer will last a long time. So you're probably gonna be maybe turning over trucks a little bit more frequently. And that's what we usually see. So when you're running into these newer trucks, maybe your older trailer and your older truck have been fine. Then you get the new truck and you go, oh boy, now I gotta get this figured out. Here's a good look at this front tack. So standard on this would have been a four foot straight wall tack. They opted for a five, give them a little bit bigger uh, tack room there, also a bigger wider door. This is a 42 inch wide door, so we have a massive opening here. The other thing is they wanted the door to be on driver's side. Their uh, previous trailer, it was just time for an upgrade and this is kind of a similar setup. So they wanted it the same way. So they shifted this door over to the left-hand side. You'll notice a fold-up step. One thing, again, we put a lot of emphasis on on our inventory trailers is putting fold-up steps on tack rooms. Because if you notice, from this point here, the bottom part of the framework of the door, down to the bottom of that step, I mean, that's a good eight inches. So it makes a big difference getting in and out. The other thing is you're gonna be carrying saddles in here because it has a recessed post. So now when you're going in, you have a couple things working in your favor. Big wide door. So when you're carrying your saddle, you get a little bit more room. Those narrower doors, it's always, you're trying to get the saddle ahead of you or behind you, whichever uh, order you want to go in. But now you have a lot of space and you have this step making that transition in there. And then they did two brush trays on the door itself. And as you come straight into this tack room, you'll notice again, a recessed post. There's three pads here with two blanket bars up above. Now these are all adjustable. We could add additional pads, add additional blanket bars. We can change the sequence if we want. It's basically just loosening the screws and then coming up high and then we can remove them or put new ones in there. But you also notice carpet. They really wanted a lot of carpet. They didn't want their saddles rubbing against any aluminum back here against this wall. So they carpeted behind it. The partition walls completely carpeted. We do a lot of that on our trailers uh, for inventory as well. We just understand the importance of making sure our tack, our bridles, everything's not just, you know, swinging back and forth against that aluminum when you're driving. It also is good for the animals on the other side of this wall because they're not having to listen to that as well. Then on the deck and uh, gooseneck drop wall, same thing, carpet there as well. It's marine grade, so it can get wet. Um, it is up here over to the right. We do have a uh, plexiglass storage tray that I'll show you here in a minute, but we can take the plexiglass out of this trailer, bring it over and set it up in this tray so it's up and out of the way. LED light above the door. So when you hop in here, you can turn on a light and it's shining right at your saddles as you go in there. Speaking of lights, you're going to have a 16 inch awning light kind of right here split between this escape door and then this front tack door here. But that way you have light coverage on this trailer. Again, fold up steps really easy. It's on a gas shock. So you can, if your hands are full, you can just kind of use your heel and kick that up. Now again, they, they wanted everything on, on the right hand side of the trailer. And they wanted this bigger, wider escape door. So this is a 48 inch wide escape door. So typically standard is you're any, anywhere from 32 to 34, kind of depend on some of the models. And also when we're dealing with uh, wheel wells, you know, as you get into these shorter trailers, wheel wells come into play, then what type of access door can we do? So big, wide, massive access door here and I'll show you why they did this setup when we get back into the stall area on this trailer. But there's that plexiglass that I was telling you about. So you have two roof in, or excuse me, two air gaps here, and then we can pop these out. All Cimarron's on their stock trailers come with this track already built in and then the notches for it. So this is something, this isn't a massive trailer, and we're not dealing with a whole bunch and a whole bunch of different sizes of plexiglass, but it is, Really, if, if you want to make life easier, 
uh, masking tape, painter's tape, and a Sharpie is worth keeping in the front tack room. Because if I take out driver's side lower, I'm gonna tape those together and write driver's side lower. Same with upper, and then when I get to the passenger. When we go to put these back in the trailer, it's very simple. I know where they go. It saves you time, saves you from a lot of headaches. So uh, that's a very simple thing to go ahead and do there. Let's look at this. We've got two 6,000 pound rubber torsion axles made by Dexter, standard aluminum wheels. And then again, you have the nitrogen filled tires. So that helps uh, PSI levels from fluctuating drastically. But you have again, that one year, no questions asked warranty on there. So these are uh, a 10 ply tire. These are good years on this. The other thing is I want you to notice that this is a bolt on fender rather than a weld on. So that's something that, that Cimarron's put a lot of emphasis on. And honestly, in the long run, it will save you money. If you do have a blowout, if you do some damage to this wheel well, one thing you can do is it can be unbolted and then a new one can be put on and bolted on rather than cut off if it was welded and then re-welded. So if you're having like our shop do it or another service department doing it, it should save you time, which saves you money. So that's a nice little thing that Cimarron does there with the, the bolt on. Then you've got your exterior tie rings. You can always go in and add more. And then as we get to the back of this trailer, I've got it opened up right now, but we did customer opted instead of a rear, rear gate with a slider that we do on a lot of our straight wall uh, stock combos, they opted for one solid gate. So no slider on the back, plexiglass on the back. I really like the plexiglass plexiglass at the back of a trailer or doing no air gaps. And the reason why is, is as, as you're driving, especially down dirt roads, that wind likes to swirl at the back of a trailer and it'll actually suck it into the trailer itself. And then your horses or your cattle or whatever you have in there is sucking in that, uh, that dust. And one thing for respiratory reasons is we don't want that. So I like that option there. And a lot of times I'd more than likely, I would keep that plexiglass in there at the back so it doesn't swirl in. And the best example is if you live down a dirt road or driven down a lot of dirt roads, the back of your vehicle will usually have a lot of dust on the tailgate back bumper and then it gradually fades as you work forward. Because again, that's where it swirls at the back of a trailer. But again, nice big wide opening here. You also have some LED lights. You've got an LED light back here, load light. And one thing that they upgraded to, you'll notice on the back gate is there is rubber matting on that and then as we get into the complete stall area there's rubber mats all the way around so they did it on kick wall on the partition wall and then here on the head side as well so you have rubber all the way around this trailer you have these big heavy duty upright posts this amount of aluminum this is almost a perfect square here is the same amount of aluminum in the roof bows. The roof bows are what the competition uses for their upright posts. Why Cimarron uses the more square on their upright posts is if you take a 20 foot stick of this and try to wobble it, you pick it up on one end, it's like a fluid motion. It's like a pencil, it doesn't move. To where this, if I grab that 20 foot stick, it's gonna wobble all the way down. Now, why did they put this up here and this on the side? So side posts we want nice and strong. We have an insulated roof that's standard on every single Cimarron. So we don't quite need as big and stout of a roof bow, but also we want a bow to it. We want the moisture to get off of these roofs. But this is a half inch thick honeycomb design uh, on these insulated roofs that's really, really strong. I mean, I can jump on this roof and it won't dent it. So it'll take you know, pretty good substantial hail here in Eastern Colorado. But most importantly is what it does for your animals. It really keeps this staller nice and cool, about 20% cooler than aluminum sheeted roofs. And then aluminum sheeted roofs have a higher potential of hail damage as well. But let's keep the animals nice and cool, which that insulated roof does. We've got these nice strong upright posts. And then I am standing on the industry's best floor. These are a 12 inch deck that are extruded, it's tongue and groove. So it locks into place, it's like Legos. It gains strength as it gets put together. 
but four inch centers. So wherever you have a horse or a calf standing in this trailer, they're standing on a support beam. So, you know, really strong floors. That's kind of the easiest way to tell, in my opinion, quality of an all aluminum trailer. Crawl underneath and look at the floor. The farther those centers are apart, usually the cheaper the trailer is and not as well built. Now, center cut gate. that sits directly behind that escape door. So now they've got this as maybe a stud stall. Maybe he's wanting to haul some calves and a horse, or maybe this is additional storage for some feed if he's traveling somewhere. So instead of cutting this directly in half and maybe wasting a little bit of space, this is still a very good sized stall area. I mean, you could put a saddled horse in this stall area the size of it. Uh, it's really easy to use. It slams out of the way. Um, but again, a really nice setup. And I really like a lot of the, the little changes that they made to the trailer. Um, you know, we always like to uh, get feedback from customers on options when we're building the trailer. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this because the wind's blowing today a little bit. But, you know, we get a lot of ideas from customers, you know, really good feedback from them. Uh, we like bouncing things off of each other when we are doing these custom trailers. You know, we throw some stuff out there that we've done on them or other customers have done, and they might come up with some new things that we incorporate down the road on some inventory trailers as well. Here on passenger side, again, there's that plexiglass. You know, on that other side, some of that plexiglass gets broke up because of the escape door, but here, you know, a little bit longer runs. There's your tie rings on the outside of that one as well. But I want to give you the stock number on this. Again, it's a 2022 Cimarron Lone Star stock combo, 20 foot, five foot front tack. But if you're interested in this setup, you know, we can definitely help you out there. It is 5N211-803. So if you have any questions, anybody on the sales team can help you out. We have other trailers on order. We can look at maybe making some changes to some of those or just completely custom building a new one uh, for yourself. So give us a call. Anyone on the sales team can help you out. 303-684-3400. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day.